Hey everybody, welcome back to another video on Smart Summon. I am at it again, testing here in a parking lot. This is the first time I've tested it in this particular parking lot. My name is John, I live in the northwest suburbs of Chicago. I have been testing beta since October 24th, 2021. I have a lot of experience using Smart Summon. I use it almost every day after I leave the gym. There are three rules that you need to know when you're using Smart Summon. Number one, know your environment. Number two, don't be a dick. Know what's around you. Don't annoy other people in the parking lot, okay? The third rule is be ready to take over. This is closely related to the second one. Jump into your car if you need to. It's really important that you don't abuse Smart Summon in a private parking lot. So let's take a look at where we're at here and then let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so you can see my car right over there and this parking lot is not too busy. I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna summon the car right around here. So you have to know kind of the limit because you're restricted to 200 feet. So my car is straight down that row there. And as you can see, there's an arrow. Actually, you can go both ways there. So know your environment, rule number one. If you're in a mall parking lot, for example, and it's a one way, well, this one, this path right here is one way. So these parking lots are not ideal because you could run into a situation where it goes the wrong way down one of these aisles. That has happened to me before. So be aware of that. I'm gonna stand, let's just say, somewhere over here. And we're gonna give it a shot. Let's come over, actually, let's come over to this this area here. Okay, right about here should be good. So my car is over there by that truck and it should go down and come around. Let's have a look. So I'm gonna go into the summon menu. It says connecting, waiting for accuracy. says press and hold to engage smart summon tap arrows to move vehicle so it says move to target okay so I'm gonna touch on the people icon let's take a look at where we are that looks pretty accurate and from here I'm going to press down on the come to me button all right so fingers crossed take a look at the path there so it is coming down that aisle taking the shortest route and that is correct you can go down that aisle there so Actually, ooh, it's going around the main. Let's see what happens here. So know your environment. Number two, don't be a dick. So look around, <laughs> take a look at what's what's happening. Understand the surrounding area. There that, that truck is leaving. So that's one last variable. I guess that would have been interesting to try to turn it on while they were about to leave, but uh, didn't know they were leaving, obviously. So <laughs> let's go ahead and turn it on. Here we go. Come to me, push it down. Okay, so it says reverse, going in reverse. Hard for me to see the car. It's really, you wanna be within line of sight of your car and I can kind of see it here. It's a little bit tricky to see it, but looks like it's going in reverse. Okay, and still going in reverse. Let's see what it does here. It's kind of rocking back and forth, it looks like. Waiting for path to clear, release to stop. Not sure exactly what it's waiting for. Tricky to see. So it seems to be caught in a pattern. Now this is new, I've never, never seen it do this. It's kind of reversing down the aisle there. And then, wow, I've never seen it do that. <laughs> so it's just rocking. I've, like I said, I've never seen it do that. So this thankfully is a quiet parking lot, which is really nice for the, for doing this test. And coming up. So then what I can do is kind of jog backwards if I want it to pick me up a little bit further down, for example. So I'm kind of jogging backwards. And there, it looks like it parked itself. It said, hey, I'm here. So the no thankfully nobody's coming. This is quiet where I can continue to do some tests. So let's say, come to me again. Have it 
come down. Looks like the the GPS is a little bit off. It's saying that I'm closer to the vehicle than I really am. There we are. It says it has arrived. Summon complete. So at that point, I walk over to the car. And real simple, I just get in and we're done. So this is a part where you have to be aware as well. Be ready to get in your car quickly. So whatever it takes to be able to do that. And for me, that's having my key card ready or my Bluetooth signal absolutely 100% sure of being able to connect quickly so I can get in the car. You have to be ready to run out to your car in case it makes a critical mistake or ties someone up. You have to be aware of your surroundings, which again is rule number one. And you have to be able to get in your car quickly and then take off quickly. So practice that maybe in a quieter environment before you try it out in a parking lot where you're not as familiar. So thankfully in this area, it's pretty quiet, pretty relaxed. In fact, no car has come up behind me in the past minute here. So uh, hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you have any feedback, if you have any comments, if there's anything extra you'd like to see, let me know. Subscribe if you wanna see more Smart Summon videos and auto park videos and all that good stuff. Hope to see you guys in the next video. Thanks, have a great day.